Hey guys, this is Lad843. Um, I wanted to do a video on why I personally chose to go from uh, gaming consoles to buying a gaming PC. Um, I still have my consoles. I, I still have, uh, I guess, a love for them. I guess you could put it that way. But I have been spending 90% of my time playing on my gaming PC so this video is going to go into the reasons why I went into that direction um, I'm not you know one of these guys who is gonna belittle anyone for still playing on consoles or you know that um, you know that mindset that gaming PCs and gaming PC players are so far more superior now I, with that being said is a gaming PC more superior than the console itself yeah absolutely without a doubt but you know to each his own everybody likes what they like and uh, I don't care you know it's just what I prefer but with that being said I'll just get into the to the reason I'm making this video um, I've been playing console games since I was geez probably 11 years old and I've always enjoyed them, you know, I'm probably going to show my age here, but, you know, the video game consoles I've had since I was a kid was, I started off with the Atari 2600, then the first Nintendo, the Sega Genesis, then the Saturn Dreamcast, Nintendo 64, I had the PlayStation 1, 2, and 3, uh, the first Xbox, the Xbox 360, and I currently have Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Um, now, with that being said, I am by no means one of these professional players or claim to be an awesome um, uh, video game player. That's not me. I play games because I've played them since I was a kid. Um, I enjoy playing them and being adult and having a mortgage and stuff like that. You know, it's a release for me. It's a it's a stress reliever. And obviously by the gameplay footage you're watching, hey, I am not great. I'm not even that good, period. Plus, I'm still getting kind of used to playing on a mouse and keyboard. Which, by the way, is pretty freaking awesome. I think I'm better at it than I was with a controller. You can't tell by this footage, I know. But back to the reasons I'm making this video again. Um, some of the reasons I am kind of stopped playing on the consoles is because I kind of lost my excitement on them. You know, when they were first announced and they were going to be released, I, I was excited. I'm not going to lie. And uh, last generation console, my favorite was the Xbox 360. So it was only natural that I was going to go to the Xbox One. Yeah, you know, their initial presentation and all the scandal about what they were planning on doing put a bad taste in a lot of people's mouth. But I enjoyed my 360, and I wanted to get another Xbox. And I wanted to also get the PlayStation 4 because a lot of my friends were getting it, and I still wanted to play with them. Plus, I never wanted to be able to, to say and look at a specific game and say, damn, I can't play that because I don't have that console. I don't have to worry about that if I got both. Um, but with the games, this this generation of consoles, just to me, it's like they haven't been that great. You know, I just I don't think they've been that great. I mean, there's been one or two titles per console that I was excited to get, but that's really about it. You know, and then when you get these games, you gotta install them on the consoles on the hard drive on the consoles now I bought both consoles on day one release each one of them have uh, 500 gigabytes of hard drive you know 500 gigabytes of hard drive goes quick when you're downloading multiple games I mean it, it goes fast I'm, I'm amazed especially the size of these some of these games when you start to download them they're huge you know and the PlayStation, unfortunately, if you want to expand the storage space on that, you got to crack that bad boy open. And I, you know, at the time, I wasn't willing to do that. You know, I'm not 
you know, I've never been a handy type of guy in that in that sense that I can break stuff down and put it back together. The good thing about the Xbox, though, bought an external hard drive, plugged that bad boy in through the USB, and I was good. You know, I was just lucky. I caught a sale on a four terabyte Western Digital my book. Um, I bought it, and I don't have to worry about storage space on on that Xbox uh, for a long while. So that was nice. Um, the other thing is, every year paying an extra 50, 60 bucks for either Xbox Live or PlayStation Plus. So for me, I'm paying roughly around, you know, a hundred dollars or more just to stay online with both consoles. Um, you know, and I'm thinking, why am I paying this extra money when I'm already paying for internet? You know, I know a lot of people bring that up and and they're like well if you want to play you gotta play you gotta you gotta um pay i mean and i understand that but damn i'm already paying for internet so that's that's uh, not too thrilled about doing that and then the games that come the free games that come monthly with your playstation plus or xbox live membership yeah they're not that great you know i'm like every now and then they'll have a game that's good but for the most part it's like yeah you know whatever I guess, you know, and now, hell, I remember a time you bought a console and they were going to be good for a good, for at least roughly eight years, you know, now I've had my consoles for three and they are releasing new versions of, of the consoles. You got the new PlayStation that's already out. And now you got the Xbox Scorpio that's supposed to be coming out sometime in 2017 that's you know you're telling me if I want these consoles now I'm gonna have to pay an extra anywhere I'm, I'm assuming anywhere between three to five hundred dollars to get these 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 consoles hell I don't even have a 4k TV in my house yeah I know these games could could run off a regular high-definition TV but we all know they're primarily meant for the 4k TVs so I'd have to go out and buy an expensive 4k TV and then buy one of these consoles to put there and I'm like no it's not gonna happen you know it's, it's, it's ridiculous now granted if you already have a 4k TV and you're gonna get one of these consoles or you haven't even bothered to update to the new um, generation consoles then that's different you know it might be worth it for you but not for this one so with all that being said, I started getting interested into uh, um, gaming on a PC. I had a coworker who I worked with. He played on um, on a gaming PC, and he played. You know, I, I would say he's a serious um, uh, gamer on PC. So I start picking his brain, and he starts telling me, you know, the benefits to getting on PC. And I always, I had a lot of the misconceptions that a lot of people had I thought it would be too expensive I thought to get a decent gaming computer I'd have to spend like fifteen hundred dollars or more um, I thought some of the games that came on a gaming PC were like you know these games that you know nobody was really interested in I didn't even know that the games that come out on console they have for PC you know it's just ignorant of this stuff I didn't know so um, I'd start getting on the internet and YouTube and stuff, and I'd decide, you know what, I'm going to get me a gaming PC. So, yeah, I probably should have ordered the parts and built it. Hell, my buddy, that's what he does for, for um, on the side, is putting, building computers. And he offered to help me and stuff. I just had to order the parts. But me being me, being impatient, you know, and being used to the console where you just you know order it and it comes there it's already put together you don't have to worry about that stuff so I get a gaming PC off of, uh, Best Buy and it was your entry level uh, gaming PC I, it cost me about um, $800 it came with an i5 processor a 1 terabyte storage uh, 8 gigabytes of RAM and a 750 Ti graphics card um, I definitely wanted to get it get a PC that um, I knew I could upgrade on my own um, and within the past year I have done that I have upgraded that PC 
not because I had to, but because I wanted to. You know, it started to become a hobby for me. And just like any hobby, once you start getting into it, it starts to add up. Yeah, it, it can be expensive, you know, depending on what you do with it and where you buy your parts and stuff. Hell, I mean, any hobby becomes expensive after a while. Hell, people who have goldfish, that, that starts to get expensive after a while. But anyway, so what I did was um, I started upgrading slowly, just, you know, piece by piece, not all at one time. Um, and I did it on my own. You know, it was kind of nerve-wracking and it's kind of intimidating at first. But everything's pretty much p plug and play. So on the storage, I went from a 1 terabyte to a, I bought a WD Black 4 terabyte um, hard drive. I went from 8 gigs to 16 gigabytes of RAM. Um, I replaced the power supply. I think I had a 400 watt um, power supply when it came in it. Uh, and I went up to a 750 watt, and then um, I replaced the 750 Ti graphics card with a 970 GTX graphics card. I also installed uh, new cooling fans and added an extra in there. Um, again, I did these upgrades not because I had to, but because I wanted to. It was it was not a necessity because everything that was already in there was was running fine. I most of my games looked fine. Um, I think the first game I, I bought was um, um, the Skyrim game, and I thought it looked good with that 750 Ti graphics card. But uh, I just I start getting into my fixations like I always do, um, and replacing the, the the power source, man. That that was that was really intimidating because you're basically rewiring the whole computer. But it was easy. I think I did the whole thing in probably like 20, 30 minutes. Um, and I probably could have done it quicker if I knew what I was doing um, the first time. Anyway, um, but once I got that, I started looking for games. And getting games on a PC, I have to admit, it's way cheaper. Not to mention there are free games out there that you can play on the PC. That now that's pretty cool. And hell, the the game you're watching now, that's a that's a Warface, and that was totally free, and it's a good looking game, and it plays good. At least I think it looks good, and I like the way it plays. It's it's a fun game. Um, but uh, games are so much cheaper. Um, on Steam and you don't even have to get them off of Steam there's other websites like I found out like G2A and Green Man Gaming and there's others you you purchase the keys hell some games cost four bucks you know I think I bought um I, I think I got one of the uh, one of the games on my uh, system I think it was po Portal 2 I ended up getting it was on sale it was like th three dollars you know these are good games um, so I got that, um, and still every now and then I, I get on Steam and look at their sales and stuff. And the good thing is, each one of these websites, they'll give you a refund. If you don't like the games, or for whatever reason, they don't work on your system, for whatever reason, they will refund you your money back. You know? That's good. I enjoy that. So you can, you can buy it and try it and, and not have to worry too much about it. Um... And the other thing is I don't have to worry about paying any, um, for any online service. I pay my internet and that's it. I don't have to worry about anything else. Now, granted, playing with a mouse and keyboard, that took a little getting used to. But I'm pretty much used to it. But at the same time, if I want to play with a controller, I can do that too. I can play with any controller I want. Whether it be an Xbox One controller, an Xbox 360 controller, a PlayStation 4 controller, or any other third-party controllers, I can do that. And the one thing I never noticed until I started gaming on PC is the fact that the games look so much better. I mean, I'm playing, I think, all my games, except with the exception of maybe one or two that are frame-locked. I'm I'm playing all my games at 1080p at 60 frames per second. 
or faster. I'm sorry, or more than 60 frames per second. You know, and when you see it, you're like, holy crap. I can't believe games can look this good and run that smooth. It's unbelievable. You know, I'm telling you, until you do it, you don't know. And I like the fact that on Windows 10, you know, you can buy games for your Xbox. Now, we all know the Windows 10, if you have it, you have the Xbox app on there. I can stream whatever I'm playing on my Xbox. Like, I have uh, Overwatch and um, FIFA 17 on my Xbox One. I can throw the disc in there, come to my PC, and I can play it on my PC with a controller. No problems. You know, streams fine. There's not an issue. Now, I did buy the new Gears of War off of Windows 10. I didn't buy the disc. I bought it off of Windows 10. And if you ask me, I think that game looks so much better played on PC than it does on the Xbox. Way better. I mean, it's like night and day. Um, I also like the way the PCs look when you get them looking really nice you buy a nice case and you have that window on the side you can see the graphics card and all the internal parts of the PC it, to me it's just like it's like a work of art it looks so nice I never thought I would like gaming on a PC as much as I have and I think that's why like I said I have barely touched my consoles um, I play 90% of my games on PC and it's one thing I don't regret I don't ever look back and I'm like damn you know um, I shouldn't have done all this or I shouldn't have spent all this money on this PC I, I enjoy it I have always enjoyed it so you know if you're thinking about buying a gaming PC I say do it if you're the type of person that plays a lot of games and plays for a couple hours now, if you're a person who only plays maybe maybe five, six hours a week, I would say no, don't don't bother with a gaming PC. That's just my opinion. But initially, you will pay a little money up front, but in the long term, it's so much cheaper to play and game on PC. It's just so much cheaper. And like I said, you don't have to worry about buying or replacing parts on your PC every year or every other year or every two years. You don't have to worry about that. You upgrade if you want to. I upgraded because I wanted to and this has become a hobby for me now the 970 graphics card that I have on my in my PC runs fine runs all my games fine but am I eyeballing upgrading the graphics card to like maybe a 1070 or 1080 um, yeah but again it's because that's me I want to I don't need to I don't have to all the games run perfectly fine that I, with the graphics card I have now. So, do yourself a favor. If you're actually thinking about getting a gaming PC, I say do it. I'm telling you, you won't regret it. And there's so many games out there that you can get for cheap. And some free to play. It's just, you have no idea how many f games are out there for PC. So, um, this is uh, Lad843. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, leave a comment and um, like the video if you liked it. Alright, so you guys have a good one. This is Lad out.